by Rick Wild for a tough first half. You must be pretty pleased with the, how the boys played in that second half. Yeah, yeah. Look, it, it took us it took us 45 minutes to get into our stride. I think um, wasn't overly pleased with the first half, albeit goal up. Um, but obviously, you know, we tinkered and changed a couple of things in the second half, and, and got the result. Yep. Another clean sheet must be. You, know, you always love to win, but keep yeah. going with the clean sheets as well. That must be really pleasing. Yeah, of course, of course. And I think it's. Uh, you know, it has to end at some point, yeah. you, you'd have to imagine, but right now we're uh, performing in all areas and putting goals away and not conceding and uh, adjusting at times when we have to against teams that, that make make us work. Um, and yeah, we, we've done, done well. Yeah. What do you, what do you, for a new coach coming in, what have you admired so far about the, the team? Um, just, just their character and the, the way they, they conduct themselves. You know, they really, it does mean a lot to them to, to have that clean sheet and they take it very, very personally if they concede. So, and you see it in training, they're just competitive from, from day one. Yeah. Back to the first half, what, what did you think? Did you feel Kingra were defending quite well, or you guys were just you got caught offside a couple of times? Yeah, yeah, a bit of both. I thought they defended really well. It, it was obviously difficult. Again, we, we faced it a few times where teams put very, very much numbers behind the ball. Um, you know, so limit space to, to play through and around. It, it just makes it very difficult. Uh, half time, we obviously made some changes about how we approach that. Um, Ways that we can break them down, and obviously we, we did that. Had, had to match Chris Carroll's game today. Good. I was, I was pleased with him. He's a bit down on himself. Yeah. Um, you know, he feels like he's on a on a bit of a drought in terms of goal scoring, but he got another assist. He performed really well in, in all areas. Um, and that's why I was really pleased. Him yeah. and him and many others. Yeah. Who, who else? Who are rather better players for you today? After today, um, I think Kieran led really well from the back alongside G. I thought I thought they uh, they conducted themselves really well. Um, I thought Joel. He, he worked non stop and tireless. I thought he was outstanding as well. Yeah, and uh, Iggy, a couple of goals as well. Probably nice yeah. reward for he's probably one of his better games. Uh, absolutely, time. yeah. For a while. I thought he, he's been good the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been coming for him, and that was some finish that he, he put away as well. Yeah, yeah. you start pod off at Kingston off at half time mm. there. Just, just want to change things up, or yeah, yeah. Just, just again, yeah. one of those one of those little changes that we yeah. talked about. Um, of how to approach the second half. There were certain things that wasn't quite happy with. Yeah. Um, and that role was one of them, so we just made a little personnel change and yep. it's done. And is he any close to knowing when Raf Reynolds is going to be on the park for you? Yeah, we're just, we're just waiting and hoping. Um, we would hope by next week, we yeah. really would hope, um, but it's kind of out of, out of our hands, so just uh, have mercy in the federations and, yeah. and when we can get each other. And obviously a big, week, big weekend coming up mm. next weekend. Are you, what do you sort of do training-wise? Is this going to be a light week on the track? To no, 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 we'll, we'll double down and we'll go again. Um, we have. Not just next weekend, but we've got the obviously the weekend after. So it's, it's, yeah, three games in eight days. Yep. Um, but it certainly won't be us taking the, the foot off the pedal. No, it'll be doubling down, go again, and and go on the front foot. Thanks, Rick. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, here with uh, King of Fire, Keenan Dow. Keenan, the boys put in a really solid shift in the first half. What, what, sort of, what did you feel changed in the second half? Uh, look, when you come to a place like Devonport, you always know it's going to be a tough 90 minutes. It's not just 45. Um, but we come out in the first half and we, we had a game plan and we were sticking pretty much to it. And then in the second half, um, it just kind of got away from us. We started making the run force errors um, all around the park. And then um, when you've got a team like Devonport, they put their chances away. So. Um, did, did you feel in the second half, the, the midweek game, sort of the few boys started getting heavy legs, or was you were still feeling pretty fresh? Well, it's, it's never easy playing. I mean, I think we've had three games in eight days. Yeah. Um, but I mean, when you're playing a, t a top division anywhere, I mean, you expect it to bounce back pretty quick. Um, but I mean, it always takes its toll. I mean, we had four uh, boys out from the Wednesday game, yep. which obviously hurt us. But um, when we're looking to progress where we want to go, we have to have depth. Um, so it's an opportunity for some other boys to step up. Um, and they had an opportunity today. Devonport, the best team you played this year? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, with the system that they're playing at the moment, they, they look really, really hard to beat. Yeah. Um, and then we, we have them again in six days for the Cup yeah. down down at the Den. Um, so that's, I mean, it's it's something to look at. Now yeah. we've played them. Um, but when you play top quality side like Devonport, it is going to be a tough 90 minutes no matter where you are. And who do you think were some of your better players today on the, on the park? Um, I mean, look, it is hard to pick out a player. Um, I mean, in a 6 0 loss, but I think um, Dominic, who sits in front of the back four, he does it, in back five, even does a really solid shift for us, a young fella. Um, and I think he's going to be really, really good and crucial for us going forward, yeah. being that link between the midfield and the defence moving forward. So I think he had a really good game, but 
it's never a, that's six nil, it's never a um, happy day, but yeah. we'll move forward and we'll bounce back quickly. You're hopeful to get some of those guys who missed today back to, to next week? 100%. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's an opportunity for us to look at some other things, and I'm sure Greg will have a look at the tape during the week um, and then see if the big boys fit back in. Um, but we'll put our best 11 out and we'll just keep moving forward and see how the rest of the season goes. Thanks, man. Thanks, appreciate it.